Okay, today we are playing a game on Li Zhang Tower. We are playing two rounds as Roadhog and one round as Reinhardt, so spoiler warning, it only goes three rounds one way or the other. Um, and this did take place in competitive, but it's a placement game, so who knows what the SR is doing, but it's probably somewhere between gold and platinum. Also, in the accompanying email, it says, I've had quite a few 0-3s in ranked this season, so a few general cough tips would be appreciated. So we'll talk about that now right at the top. So... Koth is a very mechanically driven game type, especially compared to every other game type in the game. That was a really good sentence, said game about eight times. Um, as a result, it's harder to give, like, set advice for Koth. But, general things, because the map isn't linear, like a payload map, it's much more open, there's more ways to approach the point, and the maps are completely symmetrical. There's also generally no formal, like, choke points on the map. As a result, what tends to happen is a lot of brawls break out around the point. It's very rare, aside from the opening, that you'll have a consist, like, a focused team fight happening. It tends to be more 1v1s, 2v2s, 2v1s, 3v2s, that kind of thing happening around the point. As a result, heroes that are very mobile and self-sufficient are generally better. Lucio and Tracer are obviously the highest examples, very good heroes on all King of the Hill maps. Other generally good heroes, Winston, high mobility, D.Va, high mobility. Zarya, even though she isn't mobile, she has the ability to affect fights from very far away, because you can see Tracer fighting McCree over there, bubble your Tracer, and then suddenly she wins the fight against the McCree. Um, Roadhog, also very good because of the ability to pick people off, obviously. That might change, given a recent ba uh, balance patch is about to come in, where he's going to be less reliable at one-shotting people, but he's probably still going to be pretty good. Um... Alt economy also tends to play a larger part part in Koth relative to the other game modes because Koth is very snowball reliant. What you if you get the advantage, it's very easy to win the entire round off of that advantage. Um, and if the if you snowball hard enough, it's not impossible that like the enemy team Zarya might never even build up an ultimate over an entire round. It's very very easy to snowball a Koth match. Alt economy is the biggest part of that usually. Especially on maps where it's harder to take the point. Um, so if you lose the initiative, if you, you've lost the point, you have to retake the point. If you can keep track of the ult economy in the game and you know that you've got like four ultimates relative to their two ultimates, then you want to try and push in now while you've got the advantage. If you know that they have like four or five ultimates and you've only got two, you want to try and Go, you want to try and base just dry push where you don't use any ultimates, build up some charge yourself, hopefully get some ultimates out of them, and then try and go back again later when you have more ultimates. So, understanding the ult economy is pretty important on King of the Hill maps. And you generally, because King of the Hill maps are symmetrical, and your teams are usually pretty symmetrical as well, there isn't super huge variation on Koth maps in my experience. You want to try and rig the fights that you're going into as much as possible. Because it's hard to get a positional advantage on a symmetrical map, and teams are usually pretty similar composition-wise, so it's hard to get, like, an advantage that way. So you want to try and rig it as much as possible going in. You want to try and pick somebody off. You want to try and have more ultimates than them when you're going in. Don't be afraid to play it slower, even if they have control of the point. Don't be afraid to play it a little slower, as long as that's going to give you a better opportunity to actually push in. Like, when you do the initial butt heads at the start of the round, where you're going to go up the same path and meet in with each other, don't be afraid to play it a little cooler and sit back, play more defensively, let them come to you a little bit more, because then it's easier for you to just pick somebody off, and then you can try and just run go in off of that. Try and avoid having fair fights as much as possible. Um, and here, here's a tip that I find personally works. I find Reaper's really good on King of the Hill, if you're good at King of the Hill, because, uh, if you're good at Reaper, rather, I should say. Because King of the Hill, it's a lot of brawls. Being self-sufficient is usually, it's, is usually a big thing. And being self-reliant is a big thing. If you can get one kill as Reaper, it's very easy to then snowball that into more kills as Reaper. Like, if I... This is what I do in a game. If I think I'm gonna lose, like, I'm pretty certain I'm gonna lose, I'll just change to Reaper and hope the enemy team doesn't kill me, and then I can just snowball over them and kill them. Um, this is gonna get easier with another balance patch that's coming in where Reaper's gonna start having lifesteal on his attacks, which is gonna make it easier to pull this off. Um, so... 
maybe play Reaper if the enemy team doesn't completely shut out Reaper, because then that's obviously going to make it hard to play Reaper. But I find Reaper's really good because you can just sort of wait around for a good opportunity, pick off one person, and then try to snowball that into more kills. Um, those are like general tips for Koth. Koth is very mechanically driven, so it's kind of hard to give advice for it specifically, but hopefully that answers your question. So, now, the game that we're currently playing, though, so we're on Lijiang Tower. Let's look at what we've got right now. We've got Roadhog, Lucio, Reaper, uh, Arissa. Arissa's really bad at King of the Hill, except specific maps. Um, if there's a pit, Arissa's actually pretty good at pulling people into the pit. Um, well, on Oasis, Arissa is actually really good at. Um, but generally, not very good on uh, King of the Hill because she's very weak to dive. Mercy and Soldier. So... Pretty average team comp. Um, not very keen on the Orisa personally, not for Li Zhang Tower anyway, but whatever. So let's start the game now. And let's turn the sound off there. Okay, Asa, and turn it down over here because it's really loud. Okay, so now we're on Garden right now and we're playing Roadhog. So we are going to try and go on the right hand side. Yep. And there goes our team off on the left hand side. So now we're going off on our own. Not usually great. Um, because that's what happens, basically. Just keep an eye on where your team's going and then go with them. Even if it's the way you don't want to go, it's better to just go with your team. Just, like, keep an eye on them and just, like, change and go with them if they decide they're going to go the other way. So, unfortunately, we didn't manage to kill the, um, Zenyatta right there. We missed the hook. Um, positioning-wise right here, we're fighting against the Lucio and we're putting our back right up against the pit right now. And we get pushed in the pit. When you're... Just, like, push up against the other wall, basically, because the thing that's going to kill you right there is that you're going to get pushed off by the Lucio. Also, it looks like the only people coming to kill us are the supports. Like, nobody else is coming out of this doorway right now. Um, like, there's a fight happening somewhere else, as we can see. You don't need to be afraid of this, really. And, like, even if more people are coming to help, you're still playing Roadhog. Just, like, push in. Just, like, go right in on this Zenyatta and try to kill him. Because Zenyatta's super easy to kill. Just in general. Floating box, hitbox, really easy to just one-shot as Roadhog, even if you miss the hook. Just, like, push in on him, kill Zenyatta, and then, as long as you don't put your back up against the pit, the Lucio shouldn't be able to kill you. So, like, just... We're more powerful by ourselves, and Mercy's with us as well. We're more powerful than these two heroes together. We just gotta, if we just recognize that, we can just like walk into the Zenyatta and just be like, and you're dead now, because I killed you in one, maybe two shots. Even if you miss the hook, it's really easy to just kill Zenyatta. See, but we're like, backing away, playing it really cautiously, and we get pushed into the pit, and we die. Be brave. Play with your heart, play with your chest. So... Uh, fight's not going super well over here. Orissa's not long for the world. Uh, Reaper also got murdered. Not great. This is actually a pretty good team to play Reaper against because they don't have... The only thing that's hard for Reaper to really kill is Genji. Roadhog as well, if Roadhog knows you're coming, but as long as you play around Roadhog, it's not so bad. So this is a team that I would not be bothered playing a Reaper against and maybe trying to, like, snowball a game on. This is obviously not relevant to us right now. That's just, like, the kind of situation where, like, playing Reaper is usually pretty good, in my experience, because it's pretty easy to kill most of those people as Reaper. Um, so, we've hooked the Roadhog off over there. Um, unfortunately, we weren't actually close enough to the pit, and he didn't fall in. But our team killed him anyway. So that's great. So now they've lost their Roadhog, they've lost their Zenyatta. We want to go in right now and start pushing. So we're on the point right now. We missed the hook, unfortunate, but we managed to right-click the McCree just right, and now he's fucking dead. Re Reinhardt is off in fucking Narnia right now. Surprised he didn't fly off the edge. Genji is currently using Dragon Blade, which is very scary. Hard for us to really deal with that. Rather than trying to kill the Genji, we should just be trying to kill the Reinhardt, honestly. Because, like, Genji's out of our area, honestly. Like, we can try and hook him, but, like, he's kind of hard for us to deal with. Who we are good at dealing with is, Re is Reinhardt or the Lucio over here. So, you know, we're not good at killing Genji. We're better off focusing our efforts somewhere else. So a bunch of our team just got killed, but they've just gotten res. We've built up whole hog. We're going to use whole hog right now. We don't really get to bully anybody with it, unfortunately. 
But we've managed to split them up. Reapers come in with Death Blossom. Uh, killed a couple of people, but McCree has just killed both of our supports, which is not good. So here's uh, Zenyatta. We were a little surprised that it was happening. Our whole team was dead, so it wasn't going to go very well for us right there. So, um, alt economy-wise, we've got one ultimate right now. We used a bunch of ultimates. They used Earth Shatter and Graviton. Uh, they used uh, Graviton. What the fuck am I saying? They used Earth Shatter, uh, Dragon Blade, and Sound Barrier. So they may have three ultimates right now, or they're closer to three ultimates. I didn't see anybody else use their ultimates during that fight. So. Alt Economy, we're not winning right now, because we only have one ultimate. They might have three ultimates right now. Um, Reinhardt will also build up his ult a lot quicker than any one of our teammates usually, because Earth Shadow charges very quickly. So, unless we can get a push going, like a snowball going really quickly, we can also expect Reinhardt to have Earth Shatter coming in by the next time we get a serious push going. Um, so. Now we've got... Uh, Zenyatta over here. We managed to hook and kill the Zenyatta. Unfortunately, we got killed by the, uh, other Roadhog as well. So, not great. I mean, it's like, you know, we want to hook in. It's just kinda unlucky that we get shot by the Roadhog right as that's happening. Because Zenyatta is who we want to pick off. Um, and we don't even see the Roadhog before we do this. He just sort of pops out right as he's doing it. So it's just kind of like, eh, yeah, he probably just fucked, really, in that situation. Unless you, like, wait around to try and pick off the Roadhog. But who's going to try and, who's going to, like, pass up an opportunity to hook up Zenyatta, right? So, unlucky. So our team is still trying to go in and push right now. Um, Soldier just died. That's really bad because he's the one that has our ultimate. We also have, Mercy has managed to build up Rez. But losing soldiers is not exactly a promising start. Now Mercy's dead as well. Both of the people on our team that currently have ultimates are dead. And uh, things are not going very well. Uh, team is also about to win the round as well. Which is, uh, it's all generally rather going rather badly right now. We get rezzed out here. But there's nothing we can do about it because they've already won the round. So, it's like there were skirmish it. The enemy team kind of snowballed that one in because the one time we almost got control of the point, they just, like, you they, well, I was going to say they used more ultimates than us. That's not quite true, but they had more high-impact ultimates than ours. Um, Death Blossom is not a super great ultimate, but Earth Shatter is a really good ultimate, you know? Um, and McCree managed to pick off both of our supports going into the la as well, right towards the tail end of the fight, which is the worst possible thing that can happen when you lose both of your supports. And then we never really got a good push going on after that. Um, a lot of staggered deaths. We never really built up enough ultimates to try and, like, get a solid push going. And then even during the last push, the people who had our ultimates died right at the start of the fight, which was going to make it really hard for us to get in. Granted, we got picked off right before that happened as well, which didn't help. So, over there, we see Roadhog. We did not hook the Roadhog. Roadhog didn't hook anyone over here either, though, so that's fine. It does look like it's just Roadhog over here, so we can go in a lot harder on that Roadhog than we did. But we're a little late to realize it's just Roadhog over there, so now we're regrouping over here. Far has managed to kill Genji, so that means we have got a numbers advantage right at the start. Roadhog's popped out behind us. Our hook isn't on off cooldown right now, so we can't kill him for hooking us first, which is unfortunate. So Zenyatta has just killed Soldier. That's really bad. Whoops. Because Genji's going to be getting back soon as well, because Genji died a while ago, and Genji's going to get back. Genji gets back fairly quickly because he'll dash out of the spawn. So we're going to be in a numbers disadvantage soon. Then we lose Farah as well. We've lost both of our DPS right now. So. Where it, things are not looking good right now, now is honestly the time we would want to just be backing out because, but we're in a little too deep for that to happen. Um, we go in like early as well to try and like contest the points so that they don't capture it, which makes it even worse when we lose both of our DPS because now, well, now we're on the point. We've lost two of our team. Things are not going well. Now our supports are getting bullied over here by Roadhog. So they're dead. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Now, alt economy-wise, this is terrible. If you lose the first fight handedly, like we did, you're going to build all of your ultimates slower than the enemy team. The enemy team is going to build up a bunch of ultimates before... They probably have or nearly have a couple of ultimates. 
we've probably not really got any close to building up. Maybe Mercy's getting close to res, maybe Far is close to having barrage. That's probably all. So that's terrible. McCree is also on fire, so he's probably built up high noon. Um, or is very close to it. So this is very bad alt economy wise. If you get just rinsed in the first fight, that's terrible because then it makes it really easy for the enemy team to snowball it. Because as long as they don't overcommit a bunch of ultimates, they can just use one or two as you push in and just consistently keep the alt advantage unless you, um, are conscious of this and deliberately try to skew it by like holding your own ultimates. Uh, or just picking a bunch of people off, obviously. That's the great equalizer. You can always just get a random pick on both their supports, and then you just get to win the fight, usually, anyway. Um, did that again. Whoops. So, we have, in fact, managed to pick off their Roadhog right now. Now, that's a really good one to pick off, because now they're missing one of their tanks. And he was also probably one of the ones close to building their ultimates, because Whole Hog builds pretty quickly as well. It also boosted our ultimate quite a bit, because we got to kill Roadhog, and then we got to um, heal up off the damage as well. So that shifts it a little bit more back in our favor. Now we've managed to hook over the D.Va, now we've built up Whole Hog, D.Va's lost her mech, so she's not really a hero right now. And unfortunately though, we've lost Far out right as this is happening, so this is not great, because, but we have effectively killed both of their tanks, even though D.Va is still alive, she's lost her mech. So now we just want to like go in, um, Genji's popped out behind us. Unfortunately, we've also lost our Mercy right at the start of this, which has now skewed it pretty heavily because we're missing our main healer now, which is pretty bad. Genji's also coming in now using Dragon Blade. We hook him, but we don't quite kill him, but then we kill him. He has, however, now killed Soldier. Now we don't want to use our ultimate anymore because we're not really favored to win the fight anymore because we've lost a bunch of our team. We're down three people right now. Their team is going to start reinforcing soon because their teammates died sooner. So now we would rather hold our ultimate because we're probably not going to win the fight. Genji used his ultimate though, so that skews it a bit more back in our favor. So, now, and also we just saw a couple of people have built up their ultimates. This is not a good time to use our ultimate because of the reasons we already just spoke about. And now that skews it back away from us again. So we'd rather hold that so that we can use it for the next time we're actually coming in with a push. Diva's also just died over there, which is bad. The enemy team now starting to reinforce because their teammates died sooner. Uh, Roadhog is also using his whole hog as well, but we're fucking dead. Um, now, unfortunately, we only have our support ultimates built up right now. We traded our ultimate, you know, so that's not... We traded it with their Roadhog, but they're the ones that have got the tempo advantage right now, so it's more beneficial for them that they got our ultimate because they're already winning this game. So, things are not... It's not great. It's not great alt-wise. We do know Genji just used his ultimate, and we know Roadhog used his ultimate. We didn't see any other ultimates happen, though. So, we can assume... Four of them have their ultimates. Um, I don't think McCree used his ultimate. McCree might have used his ultimate but not killed anybody, and I just didn't hear it. Um, but they have a lot of ultimates right now, or are close to having a lot of ultimates. We only have our support ultimates, so this is not great for us. They also We're also at 70% on the timer right now, so we don't really have a lot of time left. So Farah has used her ultimate basically as soon as she got it over there to kill Roadhog. Our team just managed to actually build up a bunch of ultimates all at once. McCree's using High Noon right now. He killed two people with it, but they got rezzed. We still have a bunch of ultimates still. Soldier's using his Tac Visor right now, but they're using their ultimates to keep us away. So now we've used all of our ultimates. Now it's just going to be a brawl to see who wins, basically. We've killed McCree right at the start, which is a good start for us. Now there's... Their team's starting to come out and fight us. Genji's going to be getting close to having his ultimate. We've lost Soldier as well. Not great. Reinhardt's right here in the middle of us right now. We didn't quite manage to kill him. Right now, their supports are standing right behind us. I just saw get, uh, Zenyatta. Uh, just coming back around here. See, Zenyatta's right behind us right now. Spin round right now. Kill that Zenyatta. He is more important than anything that's happening over here. Because he's easy to kill and he's a high impact hero. We've just ignored him. We had a, like a free chance to kill him and we didn't take it basically. Because we got right next to him and just the Lucio. We could have killed the Zenyatta right there but we didn't take it. 
Genji's managed to build up his ultimate again, and he's using it to clean up the fight now. We lost a couple people, it's not going great, and it's all gone back right, and now we've lost the round. So, we only managed to build up one set of ultimates per team member right there, and we didn't even actually get to use them all. Like, Diva never actually got to use her self-destruct. So, Overwatch is really heavily based around ultimates, like, alt execution. Like, if you were to say, ask me, what's the one thing I can improve disregarding all of the factors that would improve my win rate the most? Alt execution is easily that thing. And then, understanding the alt economy can help you a lot. If we saved our whole hog when we weren't really going to win that push because we were down so many people relative to them, we might have had a more a better chance coming in on the next push because then we can split their team up and divide them and then we can like push them out of cover so that Soldier can maybe kill more people with TAC Visor, you know, this kind of thing. Um, just like scatter them around, do that, maybe pin somebody, kill them. But we used it instead on a push that we weren't going to win because we were down so many people. We traded with the other Roadhog, yeah, but they were winning, so it's a favorable trade for him relative to us. So that's something that could have affected it. Obviously, we don't know if it would have affected it. You know, alternate timeline. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. We don't know, but it's something to think about. So now we're playing Reinhardt. This is a pretty good map to play Reinhardt on as far as King of the Hill maps go because it's one of the more straightforward maps. Control Tower is, uh, no, Control Center is also a really good one for Reinhardt because it is mostly a straight line. Uh, but you do still have to be very conscious of being flanked still because it's more likely to happen on King of the Hill than any other map. So, we are colliding with them right now. We put our shield up a little late and lost half of our HP right at the start. And we got pushed right into the enemy team. Uh, so, now we're going to get bullied to death. I've been this Reinhardt before. It doesn't feel very good. Um, so, the thing we can, the, the obvious step is to go back and figure out how we could have just stopped having this happen at all. So, first off, we go forward. We see the enemy team. We don't put our shield up immediately. We lose half our HP right at the start before we even put our shield up. See the enemy team? Put the shield up, even if you're a little far back, just because, like, you don't want that to happen, because we're already in a bad spot right as soon as this starts happening. Lucio sees we're low HP, goes behind us, pushes us into the enemy team. At this point, we're pretty fucked. And we just start trying to shield kite backwards. Other chance, other option is, like, try and turn immediately and charge away, but that probably gets you killed as well, because we're not, this is not going really well. And then when you're in this kind of situation... You're gonna get bullied, like, they're gonna just walk through your shield and start trying to kill you. Basically, your best option is try and charge them, try and just do damage to them. Backing up with your shield up like this, just, like, backing it away, it's only prolonging the inevitable. The best you can hope for in this kind of situation, where you're already pretty fucked, is basically try and kill somebody with you, just try and do as much damage as possible before you die, because you're gonna die in this situation, div unless, like, divine intervention stops you from dying. But obviously, the other step is just try not to be in that situation to begin with. If we put up our shield a little bit sooner, maybe we're not at half HP when that happens, then Lucio doesn't push us in, you know, butterfly effects, all that. And now, this is uh really bad for us, because now, again... We got hosed in the opening fight, so that means they're going to build up their ultimates a lot faster than us, and this is one of the points that's really hard to take if you've lost the initiative, because it's very dug in, you know, and there's less options for the attacking team. So this is really bad for us right now. Um, our team is also not really great. Like, it's a very slow, gradual team, so maybe we just get to, like, grind our way in, but it's not, it's not looking too hopeful right now. Um, so Arissa's tried to pull a couple people off. It didn't work. We missed our pin on them right there, so that's not great. There, co oh wait, no, Diva did manage to fall off in the end anyway. Awesome. Great. Good start, because we've killed their tank. We've also just killed their McCree right there. Uh, this Lucio, hopefully we can kill him. I don't think we actually do kill him. No, we don't actually kill. We should kill that Lucio. Like, we should stay behind to kill this Lucio. Because right now, we're up two people. We killed this Lucio. We're up three people. They're missing their support. They're missing a tank. So rather than being more concerned with getting... Because we're more concerned with getting on the point right now. Kill that Lucio first. 
like, kill him first. You're one of the better people for killing him, because you don't have to aim. He actually pushes uh, Mei off the edge, and that sort of pushes the fight back around again. Genji's using his ultimate over here. He's using it basically 1v6. Uh, not quite, obviously, but he's using it solo, so he doesn't actually get a great deal of work done with it. So that's good for us. We managed to pin him, kill him, great. There, Lucio, using sound barrier over there. Our Lucio trading sound barriers back around again. We've almost got Earth Shatter. We're going to Earth Shatter right now. Diva using self-destruct. It's not going to kill us. We're too far away. Uh, we kill their Reinhardt right here. Their Diva also used self... Uh, no, what am I saying? Their Diva used self... We don't have a Diva. I'm using so much happening. So our Mercy just used Raz. Lots of ultimates got traded back and forth right here. But we have come out on top. We got to get control of the point. If their Genji held his ultimate for a little bit longer, probably would have gone in their favor, um, especially if he got the Mercy, but we've managed to come out on top. Um, but, so, at the end of that, what's happened? So, we used our ultimate. Both Lucio's traded ultimates. Their Diva used their ultimate. Um, Genji used his ultimate. So... They used more ultimates than us, and they used a lot of their very high-power ultimates. They used Dragon Blade, right? And they used Sound Barrier, two pretty important ultimates. They used Self-Destruct, which is meh, but can be helpful on King of the Hill maps because it can divide the team, which is helpful. Um, Arissa hasn't used her Bongo yet. Their Reinhardt didn't use his Earth Shatter, but he almost certainly has it at this point. Um, so both teams are kind of equal on the um, alt economy. Our Mercy also used her ultimate. We did use more ultimates, but we got their high power ultimates, mostly. We didn't get their Earth Shatter, but we're playing Reinhardt as well, so we can try and stop that from really mattering, and we're already halfway towards building our Earth Shatter up again. So, we're pretty safe for a while, because now they don't have that many ultimates to try and push it back with. Mei is also probably getting pretty close to having her ultimate, if she doesn't already have it, which will, which is a really good King of the Hill ultimate as well, because it covers the entire point, generally speaking. So, we're feeling pretty good right now. Now the goal for us is to try and save as many ultimates as possible, because we're winning now. So, we've gotten control of the point. Now the enemy team has to be the one that takes it back from us, and right now they don't have very many ultimates. So the goal for us right now is to play it pretty cool, just, like, use as few ultimates as possible, build our ultimates back up, and then just try to, like, kill them as they're coming in. Because, don't forget, like, attacking versus defending, when you're on Koth, you're basically playing attack and defense, depending on what happens. Right now, we're the defending team. Defending team always has to use less ultimates, because you only have to kill one or two of the attackers, and you kill their push, because it's too hard to push in with a numbers disadvantage, barring exceptional circumstances. So right now, you know, we can just play it cool, build our ultimates up again, ride this out, and then just try to, like, stagger them over the rest of the game, and... Hopefully, we can keep control of the point. We do actually keep control of the point for quite a while. What we have to be careful of is the enemy Reinhardt, because that's going to be the thing that kills us if he gets a good Earth Shatter off, and we, you know, so. But we're playing Reinhardt. There's also an Orisa, which makes it more complicated for Reinhardt. Um, so, but we're in a good position right now. So... Here's Genji. He's going in. Orisa's getting really close to dying. I would not be trying to chase this Genji down right now, because that's really hard for you to do. More important than that is keeping this Orisa alive, because she is about to die. She's got Discord on her. Just put your shield up and try to block the damage coming into the Orisa. Just, like, block Genji. Because if Orisa dies right now, that's going to be really bad for us, because she's also one of the people that we're banking on alt-wise. So we don't want her to die. Like, we get the Genji, that's great. I'd be more concerned with just keeping the Orisa alive, because her dying right there would be really bad for us. So Reinhardt's come in right now. Uh, we've pinned him. We're not thinking about his ultimate. He Earth Shatters us. Their Genji, their uh, Zenyatta also is using Transcendence right now. Mercy has her ultimate again. She reses our team instead. So that's fantastic for us. We've also built up Earth Shatter right now, right as their Reinhardt used it, so we're at 100, he's at 0, because he died as well, so he didn't get to actually build anything back up. Um, they're going to be getting close to building their ultimates again, like Genji's going to be really close to having Dragon Blade at this point. Um, but a bunch of our team have their ultimates right now. We can probably fend off a put... Oh wait, no, Mei used her ultimate right as she built it up actually, and Orisa used her ultimate it looks like. Didn't notice that happened. 
So that's not great. But we still have Earth Shatter. Earth Shatter is a really strong ultimate, so that should be enough in most cases, honestly. And we're still winning. We still got control of the point. The initiative is on. They have the initiative now. They are the ones. Well, okay, that's that's a weird way to put it. They are the ones that are. They are the ones that have to take the initiative now because we get to just sit back and try and kill them as they come in. So Genji is using Dragon Blade right now. We trade Sound Barrier for it. Genji's gotten to do some damage with Dragon Blade, but he's basically done nothing. We there shattered a bunch of them right as they're coming in. We got pinned. We still got him. We're gonna pin kill him now as well. So. This is going good for us. This is a good. This is going very well for us. Um, their Reinhardt also died really soon. He didn't get to build up much alt during that fight. He got to fire strike a couple of times, but he didn't really get to do any damage. So he doesn't have a significant lead on us alt wise. Arissa didn't use her ultimate. My bad. So now we have Arissa's ultimate and we have Mercy's ultimate. Uh, Genji is no longer playing Genji, he's playing Tracer. Tracer's all builds quickly, but she's at 0% charge right now. High Noon, not overly threatening, but they're gonna be having it soon. They're also gonna be having, um, self-destruct soon. So they're gonna have, like, two threatening ultimates, but mostly zoning ultimates coming up. But, it's possible that they execute that well and, like, funnel us into the other and manage to pick us off. Uh, Zenyatta used his ultimate not that long ago. He's probably not very close to having it. Lucio might be close to having his ultimate. So, we're relatively even. Uh, the Bongo isn't very good. Zenyatta's actually built Transcendence up right now, it looks like. So good for Zenyatta. He built that up again pretty quickly. Uh, so, McCree's coming in right now. He's trying to bully around our supports. We've lost, um... Is it, he actually built up his Earth Shatter a lot. He must have hit a lot of people with that Fire Strike. Uh, cause he did die right as he came through the doorway, so he must have built up a lot with that fire strike, actually. Um. Well, what was I saying? What was I saying? Um, so we lost our Arissa right at the start of the fight. That's really bad. Mercy also dies. We don't block this Earth Shatter. I didn't even know he had it. I didn't think he had enough time yet, so, you know. But we've lost our Mercy as well. We've lost both people that had our ultimates. So that's not great. Maze built her ultimate right now and is using it. Uh, but we've already lost a bunch of people as this starts happening. Pick up the health kit before you go back in. Um, so, not great. We've still got time. They still need 25%. So rather than go back in, we go back out. We're just going to wait for our team to regroup. Unfortunately, May used her ultimate right there. If May didn't use her ultimate, it would actually be pretty easy for us to retake this point because they don't have much to defend with, right? They used Transcendence, they used Earth Shatter. That means they've got not a lot. They've got, like, High Noon Self-Destruct. Big whoop, right? So, if May didn't use her ultimate, this would actually be really easy for us, because that takes up the whole point. Just throw it in the doorway, go in, Bongo down. Just, if we get killed, Mercy can res us. That'd be pretty sick. So, it's unfortunate that May used it when we'd already lost that fight. Um... So we tried to pin the Reinhardt right there because he's out of position. We unfortunately missed the pin. We're trying to kill him because he's out here all by his lonesome. We have overcommitted on it, and now we've gotten killed for it. It's like, he's escaped us by this point, basically, unless our team collapses on him really strongly. Once we miss the pin, it's really hard for us to get this kill, especially since our team hasn't fully regrouped yet. So instead, we just get killed at the worst possible time instead. So, very greedy, very bad, very, we, a little overreaching, basically, and we never even get to try and push in the point again, because we overcommitted on the Reinhardt. Uh, so, uh, we got pretty fucked right there at the end, basically. So, uh, let's watch the play of the game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Big swing. Uh big 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 swing. Uh kill everybody, get them rest back up again. So, a lot of snowballing happened in the game, basically. Um Not we did we rarely got to build up very many ultimates, and especially in the first two rounds, which ended very quickly. And then ults mismanaged in the last one. And it is very hard to keep track of. Right towards the end, Zenyatta and uh, Reinhardt actually built up their ultimates very quickly relative to the last time they used them. Which, I mean, I've seen this already. I've already watched this through once and I just, I'm like, oh, they don't have their ultimates. They only just use their ultimates. And they actually built their ultimates up again really quickly. 
Um, first two rounds, though, basically we got, like, pretty snowballed on the whole game, where we never really got a good push going in. Uh, we got wiped early on in the first two rounds pretty convincingly. And then we were always down ultimates after that. And then the one time that we uh, were relatively even, we used our ultimates too early. Or McCree got like two picks on our supports right at the tail end of the fight, which we we were looking pretty good in that fight. And then McCree like killed the two supports. And then that was, well, what can you do? When you've lost both of your supports, you're pretty fucked, generally speaking. Um, But we are pretty snowballed on. Third fight, you know, third, third round was relatively close. We almost had it. I think if May didn't use her ultimate right as we when we lost that last fight, we probably win that round. Uh, we did overreach on the Reinhardt as well, which is not great. Um, but it's unfortunate May used her ultimate when we lost the round as well. So, yeah, we also um you know first round as well we weren't uh, we uh, had an opportunity to kill like Zenyatta and probably Lucio right at the start of the round, but we didn't take it because we were playing a little bit too um, tentatively around it. Um, if we'd killed them right there, we might have gotten, uh, control of the point at the start of that instead, because also Genji got killed somewhere off, right, as that happened as well. So if we killed both their supports, or just Zenyatta and Lucio runs away, we maybe get control of the point then, maybe that whole round goes completely differently, right? Because instead we didn't kill them, and we died, and we were playing Roadhog, who was pretty important. Um, and there's like a lot of staggered deaths coming in around a lot of those rounds as well. We got picked off a couple times, which is not great either, obviously. And like we got picked off between four pretty important moments as well, which is not great. Uh, last round, I mean, we tried to pin the Rhine. As soon as you didn't pin the Rhine, you basically lost him because your team wasn't there with you yet. They were still reinforcing at that time. So overreached at the end right there. It was going to be kind of hard for us to push in, though, into, like, self-destruct and probably high noon. So, it was going to be hard regardless. You know, what, meh, 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 Um, so. General, general, uh, the, the, the biggest things. Uh, try, try not to get picked off. This is a, you know, this is a super generic advice. We got picked off on some pretty bad points during this game. Um. Just like overreaching, generally. The one, the one time on, uh, Garden was kind of unlucky, because we hooked the Zenyatta right as Roadhog popped out, so that's kind of unlucky as well. But it was a really bad time to get picked off at the same time. Um, try to like, keep ultimate, uh, the ult economy more in mind, because this is also something that gets much more important as you climb up in general anyway, knowing what your ultimates are relative to their ultimates. And, uh, because then, if you've got, like, a wrangle on who has their ultimates, that impacts how you play, because then if you know that you're close to having ultimates, but they have ultimates, just, like, saving yours, getting some of them out of them, and then trying to get your team to save their ultimates as well isn't, you know, another thing. Um, but that's something that serves you well, just, like, knowing when to hold your ultimate, when to use it, trying to get your team to hold their ultimates, if you know that they have an advantage as well. Uh, Overwatch is really heavily alt-based, and King of the Hill, it's very snowball-y, it's very, um, combo-centric, like, a Graviton Pulse Bomb can win an entire game of, uh, King of the Hill, you know? So, this is something to bear in mind, especially on more snowball-y maps like this. Two CP maps as well, very snowball-centric maps, alt economy, becomes more of a thing on these, because the easiest way to snowball is with ultimates, um, or like two, one to two picks back to back, you know, that kind of thing. So those are like the biggest things in this game. And then there's like mechanical stuff, you know, can't help you with that. You know, we miss a few hooks that we shouldn't have missed. Eh, whatever, you know, happens, can't help you with that one. Um, but hopefully that answers your question with King of the Hill. If it doesn't, if you want further elaboration please, uh, about something in particular, feel free to ask, you know, I'm more than happy to answer. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching if you did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. More than happy to answer. And I hope you found the video helpful.